Welcome to Brooklyn Verse, everybody. On this episode, we're talking Stanley Cup Finals. I'm your host, Dr. Philly Kags, and tonight's challengers are Lou Martini Jr. I've been told I'm the show's first special guest. Well, there's nothing special about the beatdown that Stephen, the illegitimate grandchild of Stan Fischler, is going to get tonight. And Stephen James. I'm going to show Lou that when it comes to hockey knowledge, I'm the real great one. So please like, share, and subscribe to the network, and let the best argument win. Welcome to another edition of Brooklyn Verse, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Philly Kags. To my left, I got special guest Lou Martini Jr. And to his left, you know him, Stephen James. We got our hockey experts tonight. And tonight's episode of Brooklyn Versus, you know the deal, the best argument wins. I give these guys 30 seconds each to make an argument to me, and I choose which one was the best argument. They, all, they get 10 points for each argument, then we get to our challenge for the grand total of 20 points. The big boy, the 20 points. 50 points are out there, who's gonna get the most? Well, like I said, we got the hockey experts today. So we're talking Stanley Cup Finals. We're going cup crazy, we're lighting the lamp, we're taking all the cliches and we're putting it into one. So, why don't we start with, uh, the Stanley Cup Finals are one of, if not the greatest playoff. Hands down, not okay. yeah. Hands down, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're talking there to the go. right audience. The greatest trophy in sports to win. Hands playoff down. tournament. So there's a lot of great teams that have won the the Stanley Cup. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask Lou first for his 30 mm -hmm. seconds. Lou, who is the greatest team to win the Stanley Cup? Brought my own banner right there, the 82-83 New York Islanders, okay? Just a couple little nuggets on that team. 19 straight playoff series wins. That's a record that'll never be tied, never be broken. 19 straight. And if they weren't so banged up in the fifth year, they might have gotten uh, 19 and 4 would have been 23 uh, straight uh straight victories, playoff victories. Uh, they got five Hall of Famers on that team. Now, some other teams, the Montreal Canadiens won five in a row, but against the league was smaller, and the league wasn't as talented. There wasn't as many playoff series to be won before you got to the Cup. That's and uh, 30 seconds. Uh, that's it, okay. That's 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Wow. Game's 30 nipping. seconds. I got Okay. <laughs> Steven, same question. Your 30 seconds starts now. Well, it has to be the 1993-1994 New York Rangers. Come on, we're here Ooh. in New York. It has to be. All credit due to the New York Islanders. This is the greatest team. There's no drama for the Islanders. There's no drama. The the 40 the 1940 curse, all of it. Everything. You got the players. You got one of the greatest teams ever assembled. Sure, some people will say it's Edmonton Light, but it doesn't matter. Tons of Hall of Famers. Tons of Hall of Famers. Come on, Mike Richter, the penalty shot. All of it. Game seven, all the drama. Your 30 seconds is over. Not even close. Islanders. Not yeah. even close. Four to one. Not even close. So, Lou, you're talking... Well, see, now, hold on. You're talking about... We said greatest team. Mm -hmm. Now, you're, some, you're mentioning the that four team, to one. Are you talking team, the dynasty? You well, picked, that's the team. That's the team that won You picked the 1982. Right, 82, so you're talking, Islanders. Was there much difference between the teams? Not that at all. You would pick I, one team 16, as better? 16 guys on that team won all four cups. 16 guys. Okay, how many? So that's the same 16 team. 16 out of how many? How many? 16 out of, uh, what? Uh, how many years? 20, that 20, uh, 20, 20, 21 no, guys on the on playoff eight. roster, I think. Okay, so 16. That's a high percentage. But to your point, that's a different league then. Free agency isn't as big as it was it during that time period with the New York Rangers, it engulfed an entire city. No one cared as much about the Islanders' four wins. It's an impressive thing to do, but nothing engulfed this city quite like the Rangers winning. Was the free agency that much different in the 10 years after? I would say absolutely. That was kind of the beginning of it. When Messier came over, you had Gretzky going to LA was really, I think, the, trade. The, the beginning was, was the trade, trade and then the re-signing and having yeah. all that. It was just, that was the beginning of the free agency. But I don't think team, the 80s. That team did very little before that cup run and did very little after that cup run. I'm talking 19 playoff series in a row. That's over fine, four but we're years. talking about greatest single they're team. Fine, they're fine. Not after, not before. But this single, single team, team, this single team basically won four I've made, cups. I've made, I, I've made the ruling. It's all right. I'm a huge Rangers fan. And uh -oh. Steven is right. It didn't go oh, up the city. Oh, it didn't go up the city. Usually when he starts well, off praising one, so this is giving it to you. This is jinxing. Yeah. Can we get the Nick Letty bobblehead out of the way? However, <laughs> Steven's question, his answer would have been more appropriate for what was the most dramatic cup team. His argument relied on the cap capturing the city 54 years since the title, and that was a gr probably a greater moment. Than the island. Thought the question was greatest team. That's why greatest Lou, team. Lou, will you give me a moment. You're Go getting ahead. the points. Lou, let me let me cut. He'll take the shut up. I'm like a judge Judy. I'm a head shot. Let me cut the let me cut the drama. You're getting the ten points. Yeah. You made the better argument. 
Stephen had, you didn't talk about the games they won. You remember, he I, had yeah. a lot of numbers. He had five Hall of Famers, 16 players on the same team, well, 19, straight, 19 straight, <laughs> playoff, so like, uh, 19 straight playoff series wins. So Lou, you're getting the 10 points. Oh, and, I'm, and I said, I'm a Rangers fan. Yes. So there you go. You, there you, you go. made the better all argument. Right, good. Even though that was the better moment. I, I remember watching that video moment. for. Oh, yeah. I've got, I got all the DVDs. I watch the video. I watch so, it when I need to cry. The next one we're going to. So we have the greatest teams. I'm not going to say the worst teams, but the biggest heartbreaks that you can think of Ooh. in Stanley Cup finals. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with Steven. Steven, your 30 seconds starts now. Nothing for me is bigger than the heartbreak of seeing Wayne Gretzky, that emotion of getting traded from Edmonton to L.A., having all of that built up where he's supposed to be the greatest player of all time, surrounded by all of these great players, but still can't get the job done with Patrick Waugh, getting swept by the Canadians, getting completely destroyed, seeing a man reduced from the biggest star and the greatest player in the history of professional sports, period, reduced to nothing. Four. That's his 30 seconds. Lou, Go. your 30 seconds starts right, now. Wait. Biggest heartbreak, and we're talking about, again, the question is heartbreak, so I'm thinking it's like a singular thing that happened. The biggest heartbreak is the Buffalo Sabres in 1999, Game 6. This is a city that uh, lost four Super Bowls in a row. This is a city that lost their basketball team. Their one shining moment, the Buffalo Sabres had a chance of going to Game 7 to win the Cup, and Brett Hell scores a goal where his skate is in the crease. In back time, the rule said, skate in the crease, no goal. The call was not called. Uh, triple overtime. The Dallas Stars win the seconds. cup. Heartbreak for Buffalo again. See, but so. it, it can't be heartbreak if you're used to it. It's just normal in Buffalo at this point. Losing is heartbreak, believe me. They, the, they, the, they, the they had Hasek all those years, if I remember correctly. For so sure. they had the Pot, you know, the best goaltender at the time. A lot of, you know, sometimes when you have the best goaltender, you might have the best now, player. I almost went with the 42 wings losing oh, you know, four in a row in the finals. They had a three-game-to-nothing lead. That's the last time the Maple Leafs have won the championship. But it's like when you go to a restaurant and you expect getting the different outcome each time you get crappy food over and over and over again. That's what Buffalo is. You lose so many times, it's not as heartbreaking. But you're making my point for me because, for example, if you went to the same restaurant 12 times and you got a lousy hamburger, then all of a sudden they put a filet mignon in front of you. And then the waiter says, I'm sorry, that filet mignon is not for you, wrong table. And pulls the filet mignon right from in front of your face. You're like, that's heartbreak, man. That's but, heartbreak But city. if you're from Buffalo, filet mignon's not on the table. <laughs> it's not on the menu. Steven, you know, you know, as uh, the moderator, I'm a stickler for details. Okay. I mentioned it. How many games did you say the Kings uh, lost them? Oh, I'm sorry. It was 4-1. Correction. Okay. They won one oh, game. Oh, all right. They, they won did. One game. They did. Yes. Which game did they win? Uh, they won game three. They won game mistaken. one. Oh, game that one. Could, that could sorry. even walk for a hard Sorry. Break. Then they lost four, four straight. Four straight. You're right. Oh, You're right. Oh, you're right. Ooh, saying you But I've made... <laughs> you guys, honestly, I didn't have to ask a follow-up question. You guys had really good... Oh, yeah. That's right. Back and forth. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys had great back and forth, which gave me... I didn't have to ask follow-up questions. No, no, no. I've made my ruling already. Oh. So... I mean, Lou, you're going to get the 10 points again. Yes! You have a blown call. Put the biscuit there's in not, the basket, there's not, baby. There's not more heartbreak than when it's not you Toy who show. made... Yeah, it's not you who determined the outcome of the game. It's fair. When a ref has to... When a ref determines the outcome of the game. And did the rule get changed after that? Yes, it did. When yeah, the rules the get changed, changed after that, that's like a bitter pill to swallow. Because that's the NHL saying, oh, <laughs> we messed up. We messed, we messed up. up. Well, we can't change it, but here you go, guys. So, and you know, and you had Brett. Wasn't it Brett Holt's first cup? Uh, uh, was it his first cup? Not yeah. sure. Ninety nine was his first cup. Yeah. So yeah. he yeah, been in for a long time. So yeah. you had Buffalo had to watch the triumph of Brett Holt's first cup and this and that. So I think that uh, I think Lou gets the ten points here. Buffalo. I mean, once he had the ref in. Yeah. I do understand your right. point about Buffalo. It's all right. But, so, Buffalo. Buffalo. Uh, you yeah, meant so you guys you guys talk about a couple teams that uh, get heartbroken. They don't have titles. This maybe. So, which team needs a Stanley Cup victory the most? Oh, this is killing me. This is the question. All right, right. Lou. You, you know you're we got gonna the, the get thirty seconds. Yeah, this is this yeah. is killing me. Your thirty seconds Sweat. starts oh. now. Oh, I, I have a backup, which I really could go to, but I hate myself because the backup really is not the right answer. The answer is the New York Rangers. Ooh. As any league goes, New York City is the 
kingpin of any league. And anytime there's a league, whatever it could be the lingerie league. If there's a New York team in a lingerie league, as successful as that New York team is going to be, the more successful the league is. And the NHL has been never in better shape than when the Rangers won in 94. And when the Rangers are good, the NHL is better. Your 30 seconds is up. Ugh, I hate that. <laughs> Steven, your 30 seconds starts now. I'm going to improve on Lou's argument here by saying the Las Vegas Golden Knights if you want the league to expand and gain a different uh, foothold in the West, yeah, what better yeah. way? What better way than to do it? It's not about the fan base. It's about the league spreading. You want Seattle to be successful. You want to see all of these franchises who are buying in at almost a billion dollars to see that they can accelerate fast enough to bring in revenue. So from a league perspective, that's the best way to go. They need the cup most. Okay. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Stephen... You're not going to get 30 seconds, but okay. you make a compelling point from a league standpoint. You do. But I don't know if I'm looking for from a league standpoint. I'm looking at a team. What team needs it most? What do you team? really think the Las Vegas Golden Knights are the team that needs it the most? Or do you think the NHL? I agree with you. That is a great argument that the NHL would love the Las Vegas Golden Knights to win for that reason. But I don't think what t- I'm going to give you a chance to Enjoy. redo it a little. What team do you think needs well, Las Vegas? I'm going to stick Still. with it only okay. because look at what happened with Atlanta. Atlanta own. had immediate success. Yeah. They 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 sort of went to the playoffs a few times, and then once the fan base didn't see that sort of win, the NHL and teams in general can't afford to be seen as being in a losing sinkhole, or you wind up with. The Hartford Whalers. You wind up with Winnipeg going and coming back. You wind up with Quebec moving. Like Minnesota. Get a rebuttal. Yeah. Okay. Let's get your rebuttal. When a team from New York wins a championship, it's worldwide exposure. For the league, the team, the players, it's just worldwide. So again, you're, you're, all on. You're, you're also saying from a league standpoint, New York you think needs you still think the Rangers need it. It's not just from a league standpoint, the team itself. Yes, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. I, now, both of you guys, I'm agree. sorry. You, got, you guys agree. are both missing the team that needs it the most. Uh, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs need it the most, guys. That was my We're that talking that was, about that was that was a toss-up. Toss-up. Yeah, for sure. We're talking about yeah. a Canadian yeah. sport. The Toronto so Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs haven't won a cup. You said I, I, I know. It's I was torn. Forty-two. I was torn. The, uh, I don't know maybe how Montreal neat, too. All you Probably. guys have to say is the Maple Leafs, and that wins. I this is I mean, I the Raptors are in the finals, oh, and the God. Toronto loves them. It would be nothing. Look what happened when Vancouver lost the finals to the Bruins. They, they ride, lit they cars on well, fire. That happens when the Lakers win. So yeah, I know. I'm sports just fans are crazy in general. Was but there. Canada, Toronto, right but here. Canada, Toronto, Maple Leafs, right Canada here. hockey and Canada go together. So I have to give a second place to one of you guys because you guys didn't. <laughs> I just get to, got the to Maple Leafs. Yeah. I'm kicking myself. Um, kicking. We I both actually, thought it in the back of our head. I like what you're saying with the Rangers. You said Sittler. I like what you're saying with the Rangers, but I have to say, uh, Stephen made a very good argument. Uh, the Atlanta Thrashers, Harper Wells. Those teams do need success because, you know what, in those warm climates, the Rangers are the Rangers. The Rangers cannot win for another 54 years, and they're still going to sell out the Garden. Just yeah, like the just sure. like the Knicks. The Knicks sell out the Garden. The Rangers are, we would love to see them win, but they're, they're, they're not on life support. The Las Vegas Knights go 10 straight years of terrible records. They could be on life support. So, for sure. Steven gets the 10 points. <laughs> You guys missed the Maple Leafs. I'll take but, it. Ooh. Good enough for government work. All right. Nice job. Nice Good enough for government work. <laughs> Thank job. you. So nice we got a 2010 job. matchup. Oh, no. And now we're going to give a little can give a little trivia. All we right. got your buzzers. Ooh. We got a five-question trivia. Okay. A little short and sweet. Uh, number. Whoever takes it, takes the elusive 20-point challenge. Elusive. Is, is the winner getting the Nick Letty if you'd like. head? If you'd like so see you in Edmonton getting next a John year. See you in Edmonton contract. next year, Nick. <laughs> For Ryan Nugent Hopkins, straight up. You think? That's the word. Mm-hmm. Yep. These questions are going to have to do with Stanley Cup Finals. Okay. Um, okay. We'll some records in it. We'll see. Okay. So, so guys, when you buzz, let me call on you as I determine who buzzed first. All right. So, in Stanley Cup history. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Yes. Do you have to finish the question? Or can we, like, let me we finish know the, the question. Okay, finish the question. For you. In the Stanley Cup Finals, who has the most goals of all time in their career? Mm. Wow, okay. Maurice Richard. Maurice Richard nice. is the rocket baby. Can you give me an estimate? This isn't points. Uh, 21. 34. Okay. And you know what? Do we lose points if we answer wrong? No. Ah, no, it's no. not SHR. Okay, sorry, okay. No, yeah, no Jim. Okay, I'm buzz. All right. How, so how many points did you get on that? One. Just one. Okay, okay. In the Stanley Cup, who has the most career points? Gila Floor. 
No. Ooh. Mm. Uh, this was a really hard one. I'm going to say Yari Curry. John Bellavu. Oh, okay. Wow. And this is just yeah. finals, right? 62. Just, just finals. Just right? finals. Are you still buzzed? I yeah. want to make sure you're not. Yeah. Okay. See fairness. Okay. All right. Look at, watching my back. Thank in you. Stanley <laughs> Cup, in Stanley <laughs> Cup finals history, who has the most career assists? Steven. Brett Hall. Nope. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> That's your, it's your, it's your, it's your question. He got it wrong. Yeah, I was unclicking it. Henry Richard. Was it Wayne Austin? Gretzky. Oh, yeah. the great one. When in doubt. When in doubt. I, 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 I wanted to say one it, one but one then I was thinking. Be Gretzky, right? I thought maybe Paul Coffey. Yeah. I was thinking. I so, was thinking about Rashad right. won seven cups. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. So, so what am I down? One nothing? Yeah. Still? One zero, yeah. Okay. And this is question three. Question, question four. Ooh. What team has made the most consecutive Stanley Cup finals? Montreal Canadiens. Yep. Very good. Do you have Do you have the number by any chance? Uh, Five. Ten. They what? Ten. In the 50s, they yeah. just made the Stanley oh, okay. Cup right, every right. year. Okay. There was only, <laughs> <laughs> there's only six teams. I'm just saying. This is a little impressive. Right. I'm right, just saying the modern era. 20, right, 23 guys. world championships, I think. So it's 1-1, one, 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 right? Okay. Yeah. This one, this is for all of it. This so, is it for the championship right yeah. here? We're okay. tied. Wow. So, in the Stanley Cup, there's a very good MVP award that goes out. The Conn Smythe. Who has the most Conn Smythe trophies? Stephen Guy. Patrick Watt. Patrick Watt. I knew that too. I knew that too. Yeah, how many it is? Uh, three. If I'm not three mistaken. it is. Nice One job. Rookie season. Nice job. He yes. takes it. And nice he comes job. back and he wins 30 to 20. Nice He's job. just playing possum. Nice job. Those first two arguments, I thought you had it in the bag. I thought I you know, were running away start, from it. Yeah. We seemed in, uh, We seemed. Simpatico. Simpatico. I couldn't have lost That's to a better it. man because I wow. appreciate Stephen's hockey knowledge and his love of hockey is just like mine. So. Hey, hey, hockey, everybody. Hey, hey, hockey. It's the one sport where everyone can come together and agree. We don't like the Bruins. I agree. Right? <laughs> That's <true>. Let's get... <laughs> Here's the beating the Bruins. Let's go Blues! Let's get... Let's get hockey some more love. And that's it for this episode of Brooklyn, Brooklyn Versus. Please, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And where the best argument always wins. Man, not bad. I'm undefeated. Not really? You're undefeated? Yeah, yeah. Good only, job. Only two Good job. so far. Good job. Tonight on Brooklyn vs. Stephen James took down Lou Martini Jr. 30-20. Here are the season standings.